Hey guys, Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the new HP Spectre X360 15T. This is the top of the line model, which features a Core i7 7500U, NVIDIA GeForce 940MX with 2GB of GDDR5, 15.6 inch Ultra HD IPS panel, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, and the retail price is $1499 US. The exterior of this laptop is just drop dead gorgeous. On the exterior you got this truffle brown finish with the new HP logo. It's made out of all aluminum, so it definitely feels premium. The bottom panel of this laptop is also made out of aluminum and you got your intake vents. Thanks to the aluminum construction, the build quality of this laptop is very good. There's hardly any keyboard flex or display flex. The finer 12GB PCIe NVMe SSD is wicked fast. Everything is just quick and responsive, from boot up times to system response. The interior is just a thing of beauty. You got that same truffle around aluminum finish and it's also very thin and light, coming at 0.7 inches thick and 4.42 pounds. Take a look at that gold trim around all the laptop. This thing is beautiful. You get a very nice port selection for a thin and light laptop. On the left side you got your USB type A, headset microphone jack combo, power button, exhaust vent, and an SD card reader. On the other hand you got your volume up and down rockers, exhaust vent, full size HDMI, USB type C, and your Thunderbolt 3 slash USB type C port. There are four different modes to use this laptop. First mode is your laptop mode, followed by your stand mode. This one you just kick back in bed and watch a couple of episodes of Netflix. Followed by your tent mode, this is probably good for touch based games and more. And last but not least is your tablet mode. This mode is cumbersome, it's way too big and heavy, but it's there if you need it. For you guys that like to open your laptop with one hand, you're going to need some practice because these hinges are super tight. Hopefully with time they'll loosen up. With that being said, these 360 degree hinges feel durable and only time will tell how long these last. The laptop features a 15.6 inch 4K IPS touchscreen panel that looks gorgeous. It has an sRGB rating of 94% and 73% of Adobe RGB and the brightness settings were pretty good overall coming at a 341 nits. The touchscreen panel is highly responsive, scrolling and multi-touch was right on target. The only knock I could find on the HP Spectre panel is the extremely reflective glossy coating. See how it compares to the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Hopefully in the future we'll see a better reflective coating going forward. The new Spectre now includes HP's Active Stylus Pen, here you can use it for the notepad, Sketchpad, or even some more apps in the Microsoft Online Store. Here's a quick sample of the pen. So far it's very precise. See how let me press down firmly? Very smooth. This is going to bring some serious competition to the Microsoft Surface Laptop. Take a look at the strokes here. Light strokes. Overall HP really upped the ante with this laptop and I bet Microsoft is keeping an eye on it. There's no fingerprint reader with this laptop, but with Windows Hello you can log in very easily. The glass based trackpad is powered by Synaptix and it does a pretty good job overall. Two finger scrolling and multi touch was pretty responsive. The keyboard on this laptop is well spaced out and the feedback from these keys and key trail was decent for a laptop this thin and light. Now the one thing I didn't really like about this keyboard was the backspace key and home key were way too close to each other which would often result in missed punches and reset my cursor to the beginning. And last but not least, yes there is a backlit keyboard but there's only one brightness option. Come on HP at least give me a low, medium and a high. Now let's talk about performance. This laptop features an Intel Core i7-7500U, which is a dual core Kaby Lake processor running at 2.7 GHz that can turbo up to 3.5 GHz. These dual core Kaby Lake chips are very strong and efficient, especially at 4K video playback and more. For the GPU performance boost, you're getting an NVIDIA GeForce 940MX with 2GB of GDDR5. I kind of wish they would have went with the 945M for more power. Or better yet, offer some more configurations like the XPS 15 where you can get a quad core i7 with a GTX 1050 to top it off. Here's a quick test of the 940MX with 2GB of GDDR5. Here we have CSGO running at 1920 by 1080p on low settings and I'm getting an average around 80 to 100 frames per second. Up next is Overwatch running at 1920 by 1080p with 79% rendering scale on low settings and so far I'm getting an average around 60 to 75 frames per second which is pretty good for a low-end card like the 940MX. This laptop has a two-fan setup and is very quiet during light to medium usage, but when you're playing games or doing some intense CPU usage, you'll see the fans creep up to around 48 decibels. The latest Spectre X360 features four top-facing speakers powered by Bang & Olufsen and damn they sound great. The mids and highs are tuned just about right and the sound quality is loud and crisp. One of the best sounding laptops on the market thus far. This is how the webcam looks on HP Spectre X360 15T. This laptop features a 6 cell 79.2 watt hour battery pack and I'm getting roughly 6 to 7 hours of casual usage with medium screen brightness. 
And that's pretty impressive considering this thing is packing 8 million pixels. A cool feature HP added on this laptop is fast charging capability. You can charge this laptop to 0-50% to in 30 minutes while in shutdown mode. Alright, so let's get to the conclusion of the 2017 HP Spectre 15T. This laptop combines an all aluminum design that is super sexy and it only weighs 4.42 pounds. The dual core KB Lake chip is fast and very efficient. Yes, I know many of you guys would have preferred a quad core i7 with a GTX 1050, but HP is aiming this laptop at content creators instead of focusing on gaming performance. With that being said, I still would have loved the ability to order this laptop with the GTX 1050. At 1500 bucks, HP is offering a great package overall. This configuration also gets you 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. All right, guys, this completes my full review of the 2017. HP Spectre X360 15T. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it's reasonably priced, overpriced, and do you plan on getting one? Alright guys, this completes my full review. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.